Oh, no, the old that one. I felt like I was getting my book kicked in the beginning. Um, right, um, shit takes. Guess I will. And it's going up. Oh, I'll get the queen off. That's okay. I, I won't get my book kicked. I felt like I had to put a bit of thought process in. I think it's because I had the queen. I'm thinking, oh, the person's still playing on. What do they know that I don't know? So I'm having to be very careful of just continuing playing on. Well, like I've always said, just because you've won the Queen doesn't mean you've won the game. And this player had me thinking there's something I'm missing because they were mobilising. We saw that they were going to get their knight to this position. But I couldn't see really how it was going to get supported with the rest of the pieces. So it was like a single attack. And we had to try and find a way in somehow towards their king if we could. So we've got the rooks there. I mean, at the end of the day, it's attacking this pawn. We've got two on one there if we're forced to do that. But we're looking to try and improve the position on the board as best possible. So we see a little bit of a attack here. I did think they were going to just um, you know, bring the rook here and support that. So then we were probably just going to go for taking here. Always mindful that this knight's potentially looking for some sort of fork. So it comes out attacks the queen, so that gives us the opportunity to actually go for the target. So it's always nice when the opponent attacks you, because then it's like they've kind of forced you into a move. So it's almost like they don't preempt the movement that you're going to make because they're so focused on attacking you. So they bring the knight back, so then we can put the check on the king, and it's basically a, yeah, one move checkmate, no matter what they do. So if he, if he comes there, rook can just come here. Okay, so yeah, that was an interesting game, but it just goes to show that just because you have won a major piece or you're up the exchange or, you know, you've won the queen or whatever, if the opponent still plays on, it still puts in the person who's got the advantage materially, it puts a bit of doubt in their, in their position and their playing skills because what does the opponent know that they don't know? So you still have to jostle to get those right corrective positions. So it's hard work. You should say, well, oh, you should resign because you're material down. But case in point here, just got to keep on going.